you are on YouTube, you've definitely seen at least one content creator before having a sponsorship with Magic Spoon. And like me, you might have been wanting to try it out, but not quite sure because those prices are steep for cereal. But it's okay because I bought them for you. Let me do it for you. I bought the six pack which comes with fruity, frosted, cocoa, blueberry muffin, cinnamon roll, and peanut butter. They also gave me complimentary grain-free cereal bars, cookies and cream, and cocoa peanut butter. So we're gonna be trying these as well, but we're gonna save this for later. First, I'm gonna try fruity. I'm using almond milk, so it's gonna affect the taste a little bit. Yes, I'm a psychopath. I pour my milk first before my cereal. Sue me. So this looks like the texture is definitely different from Fruit Loops, but it is Loops. Let's see how the taste is. Mm -hmm. It tastes very similar to Fruit Loops. You get that slight protein taste, but if you don't mind it, this actually is good. It's a strong 8.5. I'll definitely order this one again. Definitely very similar to Fruit Loops. So if you're looking for a Fruit Loops substitute, you still want to be a little kid, but you don't want to get all the sugar. This is really good. Texture is a bit more grainy, but it's still very good. If you told me there was no sugar in this, I won't believe you. Next, we are trying Frosted. So I'm assuming this is going to be similar to Frosted Flakes, but once again, it is Loops. They're all Cheerio type shapes. These are puffy looking. So without cereal, it tastes like vanilla protein powder. It actually tastes really good. It does not taste like Frosted Flakes. Not even close. It actually tastes really good. It's not quite as crunchy as the fruity, but it is still very crunchy. Let's see it in some milk. Mmm. You see, it's good. But because I'm using almond milk, I feel like the taste of almond milk is kind of clashing. So it's not the best. If you're going to get this one, you might like it better with regular milk. That tastes like protein powder cereal. <laughs> it's good. But the protein powder is definitely more evident in this one than the fruity one. It tastes better without milk. I like this. I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Moving on, Coco and not the Disney movie. <laughs> this one, I'm assuming it's going to be similar to like a Nesquik kind of cereal. It smells like it has a lot of cocoa. It smells bitter. You know what? Kind of good. It has a bitter taste to it, but it's kind of good. It's that good kind of bitter. Once again, it's not as crunchy as the fruity was, but it's still crunchy enough. Well, let's try it in the milk. These are sticky. That one's a bit too bitter. It's good in small doses, but when you actually start eating it, it's getting bitter. But you know what? It might be one of those experiences where you first try it, it's bitter, but it's not too bad. You keep eating it, it gets more bitter and more bitter. You keep eating it, and it starts tasting really good. It might be one of those sneaky, addictive ones. If you like ever so slight bitter tastes, you'll like this. I would not say it's similar to Nesquik whatsoever. Nesquik is a little kid's idea of a chocolate cereal. Someone that likes dark chocolate, this is their idea of a chocolate cereal. <laughs> I would give this a five. I would not order this one again. Peanut butter. Now, this is the one I was excited for. My favorite cereal is Reese Puffs. I was thinking this would taste like Reese Puffs. Spoiler alert, it does not. But let me try it again. It smells amazing. It smells like Reese Puffs, actually. Let's do the dry taste test. The dry taste test is really sugary. This has a slightly different texture than the rest. This has almost a sand-like texture to it. But the dry test is actually better than I remember. All the cereal is getting stuck in my teeth. Oh, mmm. Okay, with milk, the sandy texture is more prevalent, which I am not a fan of. I don't think you'll be a fan of it either. The taste is better than I remember. I just feel like the texture needs to be more similar to the fruity and it'll be good. Not similar to Reese Puffs, but it does have a different kind of peanut butter cereal taste. I hope they work on the texture and come back strong. This one is gonna have to get a seven. Moving on, cinnamon roll. This was the second one I was most excited for. Cinnamon roll cereal, how doesn't that sound good? Sniff test. Yeah, it smells like cardboard. A cinnamon flavored cardboard. It doesn't have that fresh cinnamon roll smell. And it also has a protein shake smell. Let's try a dry taste test. 
no nope 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 i don't like it what don't i like about it everything it's not crunchy enough the taste is very much protein powder that they try to add some kind of additional flavor to it but then the flavor isn't good it just doesn't mesh well it barely tastes like cinnamon this is a huge disappointment i'm sorry the other ones i can make an argument for them this one i don't know if i can even say anything about it is good but it's not too late let's see how it goes with the milk One thing I will say, <laughs> it's better with the milk. In milk, it brings out the cinnamony taste slightly more. So I appreciate that. If you were to order the six pack, it's one of those that you'll eat all these six pack. And when they're all done, this is just left behind and desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> so you start eating this one. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't really have much good things to say about it. But the one thing I will say is it is better in milk. And with that being said, this gets a three out of 10. I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. Moving on. Last but not least, we have blueberry muffin. Blueberry was a dark horse. Smell test. It smells like blueberry candy. It smells really good. It's really nice. <laughs> it tastes really good. It definitely has a blueberry flavored taste. If you like blueberries, you'll like this. Let me just say with all of this, they're all crunchy. They're not as crunchy as regular cereal. They're like a tad bit below, just a bit below. You might not even notice it. If you're looking for that crunchy feeling like, oh, I want cereal, I want a crunch. It still gives you that. Okay. Yep. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That is good. That is second to fruity. It seems like for flavors, this company does better with fruity flavors because obviously the first one is fruity, second one is blueberry. Go figure. I gave fruity an 8.5, so this one's getting like an eight. It's right behind it. These two are definitely the winners of this. If you're gonna buy Magic Spoon, these are the two I'll recommend the most. So based on my ratings from best to worst is fruity, blueberry, frosted, peanut butter, cocoa, and cinnamon roll is last. So do with that what you will. Now, for the grand finale, we have these bad boys. First, we're trying cookies and cream. One gram of sugar. Not into the look of it, but... Oh, it smells bitter. Where's the cookies and cream? Where's it? Where's the cookies and cream? Where is it? No, I don't have much to say. It's bitter. It does not have a cookies and cream flavor. It tastes like fabricated food. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. And it's... No, there's not much more to say. Let me see this one. It's also bitter. You would think it can't get worse. It can. This one is what? What is this again? Cocoa peanut butter. I don't taste any peanut butter. I taste cocoa, but very, very bitter cocoa and very fabricated. It doesn't taste like real food. I'm sorry. It does not taste like real food. I know what protein bars taste like and I know that they can taste kind of weird. This one is beyond. I'm sorry. And I got this for free and now it makes me feel like, I wonder if they're trying to clear out of these. Maybe it's not really popular within their customer base because these are not good. I'm sorry. When you go to the Magic Spoon website, skip over these and go directly for the blueberry and the fruity cereals. That is my final verdict. I just took in a lot of protein. These things have like 13 grams of protein. I'm good. My muscles are healing. <laughs> I hope this review was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you next time. Bye.